Hi everyone, it's Neve here from the Mama's Hip Vlog and I wanted to talk a bit today about skincare and share with you my story and let you know what kind of products I'm using at the moment to look after my skin. So a bit of background on my skin, I'm 35, I have rarely protected my skin from the sun which is really shameful because I've been watching loads of YouTube videos and there are these beautiful girls in their 20s who are already using SPFs and um, you know all that into their daily routine. So I really feel like I'm late to the party and I feel like I have some catching up to do and a lot of um, prevention to do quickly before I really start to age. Having said that, um, I don't actually mind aging and I think older ladies can look so glamorous and I'm looking forward to being a glamorous older lady too. So I'm not trying to cure my wrinkles. I would never consider having Botox or any kind of surgery or even peels or anything for my face. I'm really happy to age naturally and gracefully, but I will start wearing an SPF and um, taking better care of my skin. So this is kind of a revelation I've only had in the last week or so. And I would like to thank some amazing YouTubers for that. I will link them in the box below. So, um, my skin is dry to oily. You can see a bit of a sheen on my skin now and that is because I haven't powdered and my skin, you know, is naturally a bit shiny. But at the same time, I feel my forehead is, gets really dry. Even though I've got a fringe, um, I find when I've cleaned my face, my forehead is the area that really needs to be moisturised and I've been using oils to cleanse and moisturise. Um, because I hate that feeling of tightness on my face. Um, I have recently made my own whipped body butter, which I will link as well in the box below. I gave the recipe for that on my blog. And that is a product that I've been using to cleanse and to moisturize with. This is it decanted into a small little travel um, jar. It's basically cocoa butter, pure cocoa butter and olive oil, and you melt them and whip them together. Um, I think you refrigerate something as well. Anyway, I can't actually remember offhand, but it's really natural and it's really pure and I wouldn't want to use anything stronger to cleanse my face because I really believe that the beauty industry gives you stuff to create problems and then it sells you stuff to cure those problems. So for example, I think a lot of the cleansers on the market are really harsh and toners and I think they create a need in your skin then for the moisturizers and serums. So I think if you can go gentle and natural with your cleansing, you need less products all around as well. So um, I just want to tell you a bit about how I cleanse my face and then uh, tomorrow I might do a morning kind of um, skincare routine as well when I'm getting up and doing it. So at night time I use this to remove my makeup. This is a travel bottle where I have decanted in some sunflower oil, just normal sunflower oil that I cook with, but it looks really cute in this bottle. I used to use olive oil but this is a little bit lighter and it does the job just as well and this is what I had to hand so I've been using this and it works brilliantly. What I do with this is I put a few drops onto my hands, I warm it between my fingers, massage it into my face and um, I usually use a second application up for my eyes and I massage it in between my eyelashes and then I remove it with two cotton pads because I buy the cheap ones so I always need two together because they're quite flimsy. Um, I uh, wet these and then I will put it onto my eye like that with my eyelashes being pushed upwards, leave it there for a few seconds and then wipe it off and repeat until the cotton pads come out clean. So I'll do that all the way down my face and neck and even down to my chest as well. And I've recently started paying attention to the area kind of at the side of my neck and behind my ears which is an area I never really worried about before, but I can already see aging on my neck, so I really need to take my skincare routine down lower because I see I need to look after it. So I will repeat with as many cotton pads as I need till the oil cleanser is all gone. And when that's gone, my face will still be feeling quite moisturized and um, kind of nice and smooth. So just to make sure it's all gone, I will use some normal tap water. Sometimes I will use warm water. Um, this is just normal filtered tap water that I have decanted into a travel bottle again and I'll use that on some more cotton pads and rub it over the same areas, face and neck and chest and behind the ears until they, came, they come off clean. So that works as a toner. I don't believe the whole pores opening, pores closing thing because they are not like doors that open and close. Your pores are your pores and um, 
I don't believe that a toner closes your pores, for example. I think that's one of the myths of the beauty industry. So, sorry for the shaky camera work here as well. So anyway, this ensures that all the oil is gone and all the last traces of makeup are gone. And then, when that's done, I will moisturise. So, moisturising, as I told you, I will use my whipped body butter, which is beautiful. It's really oily, so it's great if you've got dry skin. Um, I'd say if you're prone to breakouts, you might want to just use a very small amount of this on your dry areas and maybe use your regular moisturiser or whatever you use. I used to sometimes use rosehip oil on my skin and I'm trying to get some of that. Or vitamin E oil is, is fantastic as well, but I can't get that at the moment in the health shops. So I have to order that online. So I've been using this recently and I tried using this as an eye cream um, a few nights ago and I woke up and my eyes were puffy all around because it really soaks in and absorbs into your skin. So I would not use this on the delicate eye area. Instead, I actually went and bought an eye cream. So this is like the first eye cream I've ever bought and I'm 35. This is the Nivea Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Cream and it's anti-wrinkle and um, it does not obviously reverse wrinkles. It won't fill them in like a filler will, um, but it has UVA and UVB filters. So it'll prevent you getting more wrinkles in the daytime, obviously, when you're in the sun. So I use this morning and evening and I like this. It's light and um, it absorbs quickly i can apply my makeup over it and it doesn't roll up or take off my foundation and um, i would put this on even on top of foundation if i had forgotten to put this on and um, it's a nice base for your eyeshadows as well so i use that kind of around here and around the sides here um, I kind of don't go right down to the lash line with the eye cream. I think my eyelids are oily enough, they don't need moisturising or anything. I'll just put my foundation or eyeshadow directly on top. Yes, I'm coming now, hon. Okay, I did get a sample of this Caudalie, because I'd heard about this online. Got a sample to try it out, which is always a good thing to do. Go in and ask at your beauty counter or your pharmacy for a sample. This retails at like 22 or 28 euro for the eye and lip cream and it says it's for sensitive skin but it really stung my eye area so I'm throwing this out and I won't be using this. Actually I might just hang on to it for the lips because it is nice on your lips. It absorbs in pretty quickly. So at night once I've moisturised I'll apply some Nivea lip butter and that's me good to go. So I hope you enjoyed my nighttime skincare video. If I've missed anything or if there's any products you think I would really enjoy, um, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know as well. Thanks. Please comment, like and subscribe to my channel and check out my blog, themamashipblog.com the for more. Bye.